Greetings loved ones and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul for you all and another sit down video. I feel like I rarely do sit down videos anymore because I love a good vlog. And so every time I sit on my bed now to talk to you guys, I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Feels like a really long time since I last did this. Honestly, it feels like a really long time since my last haul. I feel like it was months and months ago. So welcome back y'all, happy to be here. Also happy fall y'all. It's uh, going to be a fall haul today if you didn't already read the title. And I'm gonna be trying on all these funky fun pieces. Every single last diddly darn item in this video was thrifted. No one's shocked, I love a good thrift. And ThreadUp knows this, so they're the sponsor of this video. Shout out to ThreadUp. If you guys don't know what ThreadUp is, it is the world's largest online consignment store. And they have so many good goodies and so much savings. So, wow guys, I really got a big, honking box for you today to get into. So I feel like we should just start with the thread up pieces and then I'll show you my other thrifts that I got from two other places. Also, Malcolm the Mushroom's here. He's one of my new Squishmallow editions and Rue's here too. She kind of looks like a Squishmallow, but She's not, she's real, I swear. All right, let's go ahead and get into the haul. I also wanna remind you guys that you can save 30% off with my code Megan on ThreadUp and you can just use the link in the description box and get those savings, baby. Spruce up your fall wardrobe like I did, maybe with a funky sweater. I love this material so much. I actually thrifted a kind of like a navy blue sweater like this a couple years ago. And once cold weather hits, I wear that freaking thing all the time. And so so I got this. This is actually originally from Zara. And this is also one of those colors that I don't have a lot of in my wardrobe. It's almost like a charcoal to black kind of a color. Some of you may realize that I really don't wear a lot of black, like ever. <laughs> and I'm a very colorful person. But this sweater with maybe like a colorful pant is totally up my alley. This is going to be such a comfy, cozy find for me over the course of these cooler months. Next, we have something where some of you will literally be like, um, you're gonna wear that during fall. <laughs> I feel like I always have a handful of those things in hauls like these, especially my fall and winter hauls. And so I did get more of a summery top with this one. This is from Free People and I just couldn't leave this on the site. Like I just can't wait to wear this. Even if I layer it with like a big chunky sweater or you know, some kind of a turtleneck or something underneath. I don't know if that would look good, but you know, I love a good turtleneck. So I really, really like this piece. And these next items actually came in a little funky set. The brand name is Luca, and it is just like a navy blue pinstriped, kind of almost jean looking material. And these pants are so comfortable. It's giving me linen set vibes, giving me um, mama goes to the beach vibes. But I also got this matching tank top to go with it. And honestly, my boobies really need to be um, secured before I wear this. In the try on portion, I did no undergarment underneath it for this one, but I really do need to because it's kind of a shorter top, but I really love a crop top situation. I would wear this if I went on some kind of a tropical vacation. That's why I said mommy goes to the beach, um, even though I'm only the mommy of um, a couple of animals, <laughs> that's fine. I'm still giving off that energy and those vibes, you know? And speaking of mommy things, in general, just like housewife things, um, I picked up this dress. I fell in love with it on ThreadUp site. I fell in love with it on my body. The brand is Belle Poke or Poke? Pokey? I don't know, but it is giving the most housewife vibes. And the reason that I picked up this kind of polka dot dress that you would probably look at and be like, girl, that is not your style, is because I'm really trying to get into wearing some kind of more like proper dresses with higher necklines for more formal occasions. And I just love the scalloped neckline on this. I love the kind of ruching over the front of it as well. It really like, you know, tucks the girls in and makes them look like not as large and in charge as they are in some of my other tighter, more form-fitting dresses. I just love it. I love it so much. And it's tempting me very much so to be a housewife for Halloween, you know? Cause I'm filming this right before Halloween, but you'll see it after. 
So, sorry. Anyways, that's just a side remark, but I love it. I don't know if you guys love it, but I love it, and that's all that matters. Okay, this next thing is so funny that I even thought that this would fit me. Um, I, some of you may know, have been attending Zumba classes twice a week on the nights that I don't stream, so Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I've been really thinking about getting some more active wear, you know, just to keep the girls in, just to like keep everything secured and ready to go while I'm jumping around to all of my various Latin songs. Songs, you know and so when I saw this on ThreadUp's website I was like okay this would be like very supportive but little did I know that I could not fit these geez into a C <laughs> and so I completely missed the ball with um, thinking that this would fit me and I just really liked the back of it I feel like the detailing was really cool but in the try on portion of this you will see this is most definitely going to have to go to one of my friends with a smaller chest because you know I imagined it to be different on my body than it was the brand on that bra was Victoria's Secret Sport by the way speaking of getting clothes that fit you know those pants that you keep in your drawer or your closet or whatever where you're like oh if I just lost x y and z pounds maybe those would fit me no you need to get rid of them and just get pants that actually fit your body and that's what I was doing with these but I got these red corduroys from Ann Taylor Loft honestly they would look immaculate with what I'm wearing right now this kind of leafy jean shirt I have another pair of red cords that I actually put in a fall haul or a winter haul maybe one or two years ago and I thrifted them and they're just so tight on my hips and my weight has really been fluctuating so much over the course of like the last year really I don't want a pair of pants that like doesn't fit me correctly and like doesn't hug me in the right places and while these ones aren't generally my like go-to style because they're a little bit more low rise than the type of pants that I normally wear um, I do really like these and the material is so great just you know your classic red cords so I'm very excited about having this pair of pants but like having them actually be able to fit these hips baby and speaking of stoked I cannot explain to you how happy I was to pick out my first mini skirt. Let's give it up guys. Her first mini skirt. Okay. I'm imagining you applauding me at home. It's fine if you're not. That's okay. This little number is from Urban Outfitters. It's a black and white plaid moment. And I just envisioned myself wearing this with my black turtleneck and my black knee high socks and you know a little bit of like a gold chain necklace like I wear you know. And just taking on the town. Maybe wearing it for like a casual date night. It also has freaking pockets. Like are you kidding? I don't really have a lot of stuff that shows this much leg generally the type of skirts that I go for are like midi to like knee to maxi you know and so that's why I said baby's first mini skirt I'm getting out of my comfort zone with some of the things that I chose for this video and I really love it I love switching up my style every season in the way where I'm like hmm, maybe I'll start wearing like higher necklines or maybe I'll start wearing shorter skirts you can never keep me in a box baby okay I'm always gonna break out of it. Anyways, this next item is definitely more like me, hippy dippy, kind of comfy, casual gal. And here I have a tie-dye jumpsuit. This is kind of a taupe and white tie-dye color and it's just so comfy, cozy, versatile. I can put some layers underneath it. I can put a chunky sweater over it. I need to wear a bralette underneath this. I cannot go no bra with this bad boy because whew, she is a little low cut. I tried to do that for the first try on and it did not work. So having um, a little layer underneath this is definitely necessary, but I could borderline wear this as pajamas. It's so freaking soft. And this bad boy is from the brand either Saints or 21 Saints. I'm not 100% sure. But either way, it'll be on the screen for you. Okay, this next dress is giving you all of the jewel-toned realness, okay? I saw this on ThreadUp's site and was like, okay, I think that that color may look really good on me. And I was right. It's kind of like the same color as my eyes, so it really brings them out, you know what I mean? But this is a silky dress number from Ann Taylor. And y'all know I love a good steal. This dress was $129 retail, and I got it for $44.99. 
<laughs> yeah, baby. And it's a collared button up dress, long sleeve. It really needs a steaming, a good steaming before I actually wear it out. And I also belted it when I wore it in the try on portion just because um, it was giving a little bit of boxiness, you know what I mean? And as soon as I put on the belt, this is the belt in question, by the way. I thrifted this from Red, White, and Blue in Oregon City, and it has gold and silver details and i'm obsessed with it it's kind of like a snake skin pattern as well and as soon as i put the belt on i was like okay she's giving devil wears prada belt scene and is this to 2012 to 2014 early beauty guru days of when we just belted everything like please comment down below on if it's okay to belt things now or if people are over belting i need to know because like i'm not up to date on that many fashion trends i don't know what's going on on the run ways darling um but i did watch the devil wears prada last week and i've been taking notes so <laughs> Ah, uh, she says about a movie that came out in what, like 2008? Anyways, this next shirt, I could not freaking resist, darlings. I really couldn't. The brand is The Office, and the shirt, well, it speaks for itself. <laughs> Shrewd Farms Bed and Breakfast. I lost it when I saw this. I was like, where did they get this? I assume that like the office made merch back in the day or something. Who the heck even knows? But as soon as I saw it, I said, well, obviously I need it because you know, we're on a farm and I need to wear this to get my hands in the dirt. But honestly, she needs to make it out of the house as well because I need other people to see this gorgeous message. It's just a nice fitted white tee. This next find I chose to get also on the active wear note possibly something to wear to Zumba but honestly I'm such a leggings girl and putting on shorts like this that are this short I truly was like I'm just probably gonna have to wear these for at home workouts because this is giving a little bit too much thigh for me today you know and these are from lululemon and I don't have any lululemon items at all and so I was like I'm gonna see what the hype is all about with these shorts this active wear a brand why not you know and I did it this next shirt is from anthropology and it is giving me all of the nanny vibes if I was still working as a nanny I would absolutely freaking lutely wear this to work because just this with like a nice pair of jeans is just really giving mom that can be trusted energy and that is the energy that I like to emulate a lot of the time when I go out into public it's just a nice navy blue and white plaid shirt it kind of flows out at the waist as well like you're wearing a dress but as a shrunken top you know you could layer this bad boy oh I just love it this is such a comfy item as well and speaking of comfort I got a new pair of sweatpants for the fall to winter season baby and they're these lovely dusty rose and white tie-dye pants they're just a nice jogger you know they fit the badonk pretty good and they're just lovely what is the brand on these bad boys the drop <laughs> have you guys seen the commercials for the dump especially if you live in the south i feel like we have a lot of those commercials but let me know if you've ever seen it at the dump that's how i want to say at the drop <laughs> What am I on in this video? Literally nothing, just kombucha loves. This next dress is debatably my favorite item that I got from ThreadUp this time around. Oh my gourd, I just cannot wait to wear this. This is a gorgeous gown. The brand on this bad boy is Blue Moon. You know, like how they sing that song in Greece. And this dress retail was $143 and your girl got it for $37.99. And it's so beautiful i love the little tie at the top i definitely have to wear like some kind of a more black colored bra with this or do some higher necked layering underneath it because the neckline is pretty low what could she be giving please comment it down below i'm getting a little bit of bohemian goddess and the last item that i got from thread up before i get into the other items that i found from other thrift stores is this huge gorgeous faux fur burgundy jacket it's a zip up my dudes and it has a huge hood and it's lined with such a lovely soft material on the inside as well and i just cannot 
forking weight to wear this. It's honestly a little bit cropped as well. Like it doesn't even go down to the butt. It more rides around the hip area, but also just like the fit, the style, how large it is. I feel like I am inside of a teddy bear when I wear this. I just love a good fuzzy and this is so fantastic. And that was all of my gorgeous, lovely, stunning, incredible items from ThreadUp. As a reminder, you can get an extra 30% off of your first order with ThreadUp using my code Megan with the link below in my description. Please go check them out. They are iconic and have so many great finds. And now for the other items that I thrifted other than from ThreadUp. I got these pants when my sister was visiting actually over the summer and I feel like I just never shared them with you. Not even in the vlog when she visited. But these are from the brand Audrey 3 Plus 1. And I got them at Red, White & Blue in Johnson City. They're a nice mustard color with kind of a nice texture on them. I just love them. I love them so much. I wear these pants at least once a week. They're so comfortable and fantastic. And I just can't get enough of mustard in my wardrobe. Hence why I also purchased this second item from Red, White & Blue as well. And I was thinking that I might crop this and just cut off the kind of like skirt top portion of this, but I'm unsure. Please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments on if I should cut this or not. It fits me either way, but I kind of, I don't know. I'm still up in the air about it. But Lord knows I didn't need another mustard colored tank top, but still, I got it. I'll be honest. In my head, I thought I needed it. I also went thrifting with my friend Julissa at Red Light in Portland a couple of weeks ago looking for some stuff for a wedding. And while I was there, I found this little sundress with this lovely embroidery at the top and a little ribbon and these fun straps. And it's just amazing. I love it. Oh my God. And again, this is totally out of season for the months that we're approaching weather-wise, but I do have a tan colored um, turtleneck that I could put under this for some layering or something like that and I honestly just wanted it so bad I was like I don't even care I don't care what month it is I'm getting it <laughs> and then the last thing that I got and the reason I went to red light in the first place was to look for some really nice dresses that I could get for super cheap I forget how much this was but it was definitely not anything insane like maybe $20 and I got this for my friends Callie and Jake's wedding and it looks really weird when I'm holding it up just because there's like this apron type material that goes it's more of a bib actually that goes over the top of the dress but it's super long it's like this teal color baby blue lace number and uh i'm gonna put some photos on the screen of me wearing this at the wedding as well because i'm just simply obsessed my darlings it was a great find and i'm so happy that i got that and i'm just so happy that i got all this stuff thrifting please go check out thread up Please go thrifting on your own as well around your own towns because I have so many great thrift stores around me and I just love thrifting so much. It's such a fun social activity as well, like absolutely obsessed with her work. So highly recommend. Thank you for joining me for yet another thrift haul. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring that notifications bell if you wanna be notified when I upload. And I also stream three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific time on Twitch and I do gaming and session and all the fun things and I also have a patreon page if you guys ever want to see some extra content from me so those are your little reminders take care of yourselves okay love you so much stay smiling bye y'all